It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Andy, let's start by congratulating Jimmy Allen and his wife, Alexis. Uh, they had another baby girl on Saturday. Hey, wonderful. How much? Uh, how many does this make? Uh, they got two baby girls. Oh, nice. And Jimmy has his son, uh, who's seven, uh, from a previous relationship. Uh, they named this baby girl Zara James. Love that. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Very nice. Jordan Davis and Luke Bryan have a stripped-down version of their song By Dirt. They put out a video for it. Very cool. Yeah, I like that, too. And just a few days after receiving uh, an Artist of the Year trophy at the CMT uh, celebration, Chris Stapleton came down with laryngitis, had to postpone a show or two. Oh, that's not good. Can't sing with laryngitis. No, but he will make it up. He already said uh, in a post on social media, he will make it up. Uh, Sean Penn and his wife, Layla George, divorcing after one year of marriage. I didn't even know he was married. He's uh, about 61 or so, give yeah. or take. Layla is 29. Uh, she was the daughter of uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, the actor, Candy. Okay. And uh, she's also on a show that I love called Animal Kingdom. Uh, they are getting divorced. Uh, meanwhile, okay. for every uh, you know negative, there's a positive... Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker are engaged now, Candy. Hey, I'm not I'm not surprised to hear that. Congratulations to them. Yes. Uh President Clinton released from the hospital after suffering that uh, blood issue, Candy. The Yeah, that was scary. The Sexist. virus. Very yeah. scary. Ran through his blood system. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh did you see last week, I don't know if we talked about it, Katie Segal got hit by a car. I did not see that. Is she okay? She's okay. She went to the hospital for a little bit, was released. I guess, as the story goes, a Tesla came around a corner and clipped her. They did stop and help her, and, you know, it was an accident. It was a complete accident. Uh, and But she's okay, Katie Segal. Very scary. Yeah. Uh, Betty Lynn passed at 95. Betty Lynn played Thelma Lou. Barney Fife's girlfriend. Oh, yes. Love Thelma Lou. Yep, on the Andy Griffith Show. The Chicago Sky won their first WNBA title yesterday. Congrats to them. Yes, congratulations. Now, check this out. Halloween Kills, the Jamie Lee Curtis uh, movie, of course, the big blockbuster box office movie, um, was released simultaneously in theaters and I think on, was it Paramount or Peacock? I forget which one. I'm not sure. Peacock sounds more likely. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, it still made, in the theater, even for being on TV, it made $50.4 million this weekend. Hey, impressive. Yeah, for something that was released on television as well. That is very impressive, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Bennett, at 95, now becomes the oldest ever to release an album of all new recorded material. Unbelievable. Yeah. Love him. He's doing it. National treasure. Uh, you said it. Vince Neil of Motley Crue was performing with his other band, his own band, when he accidentally uh, missed a step. There was a gap between the stage and some speakers, and he tried to step on the speakers. He didn't see the gap. He fell into it. He broke some ribs, Candy. Ooh. That yeah. hurts. He was taken to the hospital uh, right after the fall. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. And America's Got Talent Extreme Edition had to halt production. Uh, a guy in rehearsal got sandwiched between two cars that exploded. And he is in critical condition, Candy. That's frightening. That's awful. Yeah. He was suspended up in the air trying to get out of a straitjacket before two cars swung like pendulums, hit him, and burst into flames. Wow. And, he, and then he fell, like, I don't know how many feet, he, but he fell and hit his head, and it's a whole, yeah, he's in critical condition. Oh, not, that's awful. Not good. Uh, TV uh, tonight, Monday Night Football, the Titans and Bills on ESPN. That's a good one. Dancing. Canceling football for this season. Uh, the Giants are no good, no go. I mean, uh, Leonard, it just gets worse every week. Let, it, let me just say, Leonard Williams, the lineman for the Giants, in his press conference afterwards uh, was... Um, uh, visibly upset that the fans were booing. And I say... Oh, really? <laughs> Welcome I, to New York. Leonard, you make $60 million. Just take the booze yeah. and move on. Because you, got that right. you sound like a crybaby. 
Uh, Monday Night Football, good one, ESPN, Titans, Bills, Dancing with the Stars on ABC, The Voice on NBC, NCIS, and NCIS Hawaii as well tonight. And there you have it, your bald and the beautiful, everything from Nashville to Hollywood, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.